The first article I found focuses on the validity and reliability of administering the Barthel Index on specifically stroke patients. The article discusses how validity and reliability of the older pop population using the Barthel Index has been confirmed and shows that it is reliable, but not as much, there's not as, been mu as much research done on specifically stroke patients. So this is important for my wiki project because validity and reliability are both extremely important for all research-based assessments. Um, many clients in the geriatric population are, can be in the nursing home environment. They may have had strokes. So this would be beneficial to have this information and research to back up what I would be doing with patients in that setting um, for this assessment because it is used often in that, in that environment with stroke patients. This article helped me focus on what is, what's important when doing research on a, an assessment, specifically the Barthel Index, and good ways to prove reliability and validity. The second article I chose, um, it looked at acute care setting, not um, SNFs, but it did focus on the geriatric population. Um, they pointed out how it's rare for physical function assessments to be administered on a geriatric client in an acute setting, which is interesting because I never thought of that, but um, how it could be important. This article, um, it was very specific to the Barthel and being significant to um, predicting mortality based on the client's fever and how it could prognose um, mortality in a very short period of time. But I think the article shows that researching these specific issues, not just a broad range in an article, can improve the client's um, service that they receive. And an article like this could make more um, clinicians focus more on doing those things in acute care settings and thinking about doing that if they see the research is proving it. This article um, can help me with my project because it makes it gave me a new outlook and a new because I had never thought of that being an issue, but it gave me a new outlook on the future of what the Barthel can do and where to administer it in the for the geriatric population.